another Prudence van lifer. I have the same van. There you go. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> So I just got out of the hospital and the car just literally slammed into that over there. That's horrible. The airbags didn't even go off. There's like a thousand police cars. The hospital's like right there. That is insane. Oh my God. I do hope they're okay. I don't even know how you, oh, that's nuts. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go. Enough of that. So I spent the whole night looking for a Starbucks and there's a Starbucks right there, but it's closed. And all the Starbucks in San Diego apparently closed at 7 p.m. except the one I wanted to go to and there's 7,000 students in there because there's like university right here. So I'm currently in this situation. I'm not actually broken down. This woman needed a jump and she asked if I had jumper cables and we're literally that close because these jumper cables weren't long enough. The one that Amazon told me was perfect for my van. So that said, I'm gonna wait. She went in to go buy jumper cables and I'm gonna hang out here <laughs> in this random parking lot because the Starbucks in Target is also <laughs> closed and I need to get juice for my uh, Jackery. But I think what I can do is plug the fridge into, um, if you go in here, <laughs> now my van's a whole mess. Yeah, these are the jumper cables that didn't work. So I have enough juice on my, um, Bouge RV, I've got like 40, 50% less left. So that will get the fridge plugged in all night. And then I think what I'll do is when I work out in the gym tomorrow for an hour, I'll plug in the Jackery, which is what I should have done this morning. And that way at least I'll get half the charge for the Jackery. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go to Joshua Tree after I see Jeff in the hospital. Um, I'm just gonna leave and go like out of town toward Palm Springs. It's like two and a half, three hours. Um, so I'm just going to drive as far as I can and then in the morning on Saturday go to Joshua Tree. So that should be fun. I'm going to go down to um, Sultan Sea and to Borrego, Julian, hopefully get some apple pie before they close and just do a couple hikes and just go for a nice weekend drive and probably boondock somewhere near Sultan Sea, I think. So, and then come back to uh, San Diego. So yeah, fun, fun time um, waiting for this woman to come out. She's very nice, but you know, at least you're stuck in Target, you know, where you can just go in for jumper cables and come out with $150 worth of stuff. And she was like smoking a cigarette, like right when I turned my engine on. I'm like, lady, you need to not be smoking a cigarette. Anyway, so I'm just going to wait. <laughs> Fun San Diego night. And I was like, dude, I'm from Texas. But look at this, like, this is how close I had to get to a car in order to, like, literally barely touching. I'm back up a little bit because I don't feel comfortable being that close because I just got a brand new bumper a year ago. Okay. Okay, I'm done with this week's visit. The hospital is behind me and I am just so upset, like so sad that I have to go for two days, but he has other visitors, so only two people are allowed, um, you know, like a day in the hospital for any patient, uh, basically. Um, but I'm going to, uh, I'm like choking up now, my voice is breaking. I'm going to uh, Joshua Tree um, and then down to Slab City. I don't know how much you can hear, this is all very loud traffic behind me. Then down to Slab City and then I'm going to um, Anza Borrego and then to Julian to get pie. I don't want to leave, but I have to, you know, take care of myself. So I'm gonna go do that, go drive for the weekend and go hiking and it should be fun. And yeah, I'm really, really tired right now just because I've been getting up at 5 a.m. to run. You know, try to try to keep in shape and keep healthy. Uh, my back is killing me with this backpack though. I'm not used to wearing it. But the hospital is very close and thankfully I'm parked right here on one of the side streets. So best parking right by the coffee shop and not too far from, uh, from where I'm at. So yeah, so here I am heading out for the weekend and I will, uh, yeah follow up with you a little bit later who knows what these videos are going to be I'm just kind of filming for a couple weeks and maybe I'll have some you know time and patience to uh, sit down and actually make the videos kind of hard because I don't really have a lot of power in the van and even though I have internet on the what uh, the Wi-Fi we boost thing um, I don't have like you know I can't really do it in Starbucks so I have to be able to hear the videos when I'm editing anyway none of this matters and I'm gonna cross the street and go back to Prudence now All right, so the last thing I'm doing now is putting my van away and I have a safe storage place in a secret location 
So I will um, park Credence in here. We go figure out how to get the gate open. <laughs> and then I will be flying out and then I'll come back and get the van later. So that's good. I can come in late when I fly in and just grab the van and get out. So unfortunately the gate doors are stuck because it rained. So we're going to figure out how to, how to get the van in. I used to come down here a lot actually. I've been to San Diego probably a bazillion times. Weather's always been great, um, but I've been coming here since high school for the last 30 years. And so the old town is kind of cute and stuff, but um, yeah, so I'm walking the three miles and then, uh, then I'll be at the hospital. And when I say hotel, I mean like, I got the cheapest motel I could find. I literally just slept for like seven hours and that was it. So yeah, it should be a nice walk. Got about two and a half miles to go, so pretty good. Okay, I'm at Mossy Nissan over in San Diego. I need to get new brakes. <laughs> so my brakes are grinding, it's horrible. And I'm not driving back to Texas with this, so I'm gonna get these checked. All right, I dropped Prudence off at the hospital. It's high priority, so hopefully she can fit in there. And I'm just gonna get my stuff out. And yeah, so we'll see. Hopefully they can get it done today. I'm high priority, so that's good. Just need to grab my bag. All right, there she is. So hopefully I'll get new brakes and I won't just slide down a hill like I just did. <laughs> so, all right, cool. Okay, I got my van back. There she is. All right, let's drive 30 minutes to go six miles. Welcome to California. All right, here we go. Let's go home. Well, actually, let's go back to the hospital. Good evening, it is, I don't know, like eight o'clock. Um, I'm outside of Planet Fitness and I am doing laundry. <laughs> Another laundry day. Why am I doing so much laundry in my life? I'm not domesticated. Um, but the brakes sound great. Uh, the vehicle, my van, Prudence. Prudence, there. Named after a Beatles song. Although the Susie and the Banshees version is better. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm doing laundry and it's right outside of Planet Fitness, but I'll be here tomorrow morning at five to run as usual. Um, so yeah, it's really actually pretty chill doing van life in uh, San Diego, which is right here, a little sleepy cloud <laughs> for the last like couple weeks. Um, but I will be back. I have to go home for a week, just over a week. And then I will be back for five weeks after that, flying home in between. Um, so yeah, so van life San Diego is actually not what I, I feared it because I was like, oh, it's gonna be so difficult, but it's actually been pretty chill. Um, so I'm working on my computer right now. I'm just going to update the journal, which I'm doing for uh, Jeff and his friends. Had a really, really good day in the hospital. It's, it's rough days every day, but um, we're making progress and um, which is really good. So it was a good day in that we got a lot done, uh, a lot more uh, motivation to get better. So it's good. So yeah, so, um, there is an ice rink down the road and there's also a rock climbing place. So on the days where there's going to be other visitors or something or things like that, then I can, um, you know, at least go do some of my hobbies, which is important too. Um, it's raining again. It's been raining all week and it's cold, which is nice. Um, but I'm going to eat my dinner, which is Chipotle. <laughs> uh, and the reason I got Chipotle, which I never eat, I don't think I've, I think I've had it like twice, is because I use their bathroom. All the bathrooms have codes on it. So you have to like literally just buy something to use the bathroom in uh, the area that I'm in, in San Diego. Um, but I needed to dump out my porta potty, which is only number one. And I felt obligated to buy something. So I have Chipotle, um, just a salad bowl for dinner. So I'm gonna probably eat half of it. Um, fridge is plugged in and full. So yeah, uh, three more days, two more days here. And then I drive back. Um, but so glad that my brakes are, are fine and I'm not going to die on the freeway. So yeah, after being in the hospital with Jeff after his motorcycle crash, I'm like, okay, okay, safety third. I really need to make sure that my vehicle is safe um, and that, you know, know the stopping di distance of your vehicle and, you know, just really take care of yourself when you drive. So 
that said, I'm going to eat and I will chat with you another time. I'm just probably going to compile all this in one video of Van Life San Diego, which actually isn't really that hard. Okay, I'm tired. I gotta eat and I gotta do my journal. It's my computer. Okay, bye. So I went in Jack in the Box to use the bathroom. I'm locked in the bathroom. I can't get out of this place. And there's a homeless lady who wants me to buy a breakfast. So I'm like, well, I'm sorry. You have to wait a little bit because I may die being locked in this bathroom. <laughs> what the hell? It's the, the handle's broken. It's not even opening. I'm literally locked in here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> a lot of love for these guys and just life. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna bust this out really fast and just honor you guys. I know you're representing Mexico, right? Uh, what Sacred Man, I've been mentored by Aztec and Mayan elders. I got so much gratitude to the ancestors, you know what I'm saying? Mother Earth, peace and abundance to all. I do this whenever I'm able to do uh, the run up over there. And anyway, I'm gonna bust this out, okay? That's cool. We'll see how it goes, but blessings to you guys, and thank you for this. All right. morning this is I think week seven at the hospital with one week in Tennessee and then one week at home so I'm back again hang out in the most fun place that I'd rather be nowhere else at this moment so yeah I have my chai with my pretentious oat milk no foam no room extra hot order and yeah so cloudy day it's been on and off rain and sun this morning so I feel like I'm back in Texas but Either way, uh, yeah, just spending another day with Jeff. Managed to brush his hair out yesterday, which was good. And uh, yeah, so I will see you guys a little bit later. Just your random San Diego blog, <laughs> nothing too exciting. Just me here in uh, the left coast. So my biggest fear are trees and I just happened to cut it pretty close to this one. I could probably go back a few more inches. Maybe, let's take a look. Oh, my ankle is hurting. Why is my ankle hurting? Okay, I think I can go back just a tad. Yeah, I think I'll just go back a little bit more. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna get some dinner at Himalaya, Taste of Himalaya, which is over there. I'm not even really hungry, but I haven't eaten all day. I'm gonna get a um, chai from Star Sucks <laughs> and maybe some food from Trader Joe's. But I'm leaving Friday, but I still have another week here. I have a whole week, so. Yeah, so I think I'll just grab some snacks and then relax, do my journal here in the parking lot and then go park up for the night. That's my plan. Good morning from Planet Fitness. Um, just a heads up, this is where I usually would park my van overnight. And we had heavy winds last night that ended up destroying the trees across the road. So good thing I didn't park there. Uh, the weather's been kind of crazy because it's been, uh, you know, it's been um, uh, the storm of the century. But anyway, I'm heading to, uh, heading to the hospital now, so I will see you in a bit. Uh, 
Okay, I'm leaving Prudence on the street and I'm gonna to head to the uh, hospital right now. I fly out tonight and I'm back on Monday uh, afternoon, so she should be fine. I don't see any, you know, I mean, it's uh, residential, so yeah, I think she'll be fine there. She sticks out like a sore thumb, unfortunately, but I think she's fine. I've had no issues. I haven't seen anyone doing any parking stuff around here, so yeah, wish me luck. Only this uh, front end of the street is like two hour parking, but down the other end is residential, so I think it should be fine. I don't think anyone's going to bother her. She just looks like a cargo van. Um, but yeah, I'll look for a hospital to park in. Maybe I can move her a little bit later and find some hospital parking. But I need to leave at 7 for the airport, so yeah, okay. All right, off and upward. Okay, I'm back in San Diego picking up the van. I still want this treasure truck. That's too funny. Okay, I'm going to go to the hospital and go see Jeff. So glad I'm back. All right. Good evening. I decided to take a drive to Shelter Island. Apparently, this is a place where van lifers can stay overnight. So I'm just going to check it out. I figured I just felt like going for a drive today. Um, thought it would be nice, you know, this evening before I go park up. So I just kind of need to clear my head. It was a pretty intense day at the hospital. Just a lot of procedures, a lot of people. Uh, but all good. I mean, Jeff was a little, um, you know, just kind of combative, just, you know, just because it's just a lot of, a lot of energy expended. Um, but we got everything we needed to get done and he's on the road to recovery, which is super important. So sometimes you've got to push through the pain to get to, you know, the fun place at the end. There's all these boats here. Look at this. I don't really see much. This is kind of cool. I've never been down here before, but I'm going to check it out. Um, see if there's other van lifers. There are two meetups this weekend. One is the Tiny Fest, which I will be um, live streaming from, which you'll see before I even, you know, <laughs> do this. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. This is really cute. Um, anyway, so um, yeah, there's uh, the Tiny Fest and they're giving me a free pass uh, to uh, explore. So I'll be live streaming from that. And then the other one is a coffee and van meetup on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. before the hospital, so I'll go to that too. And I'm just gonna drive down here, drive down to Shelter Island. Uh, looks like some things are open. It's only seven o'clock right now, or 7.30. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna drive down here. This is really cute. This is probably really cute during the day, although it's starting to get warm again, so not, not too happy about that. Uh, but yeah, I just wanna scope out if this really is a place to stay. Um, a lot of like fancy restaurants, a lot of vehicles probably park on the street here. I don't see any vans. No vans yet. But there's a, you know, there's the, um, the boat, uh, what is it? Like the, um, uh, the marina. So, oh, there we go. There's van lifers. Okay. I see, I see camper vans. I see solar panels on top of cargo vans. So anyway, so it doesn't seem like anyone's being very social down here. But anyway, okay, cool. I'm just going to drive down and then I will turn around and go back. There's a transit and the motorhome. So yeah, I think people just kind of keep to themselves down here. The restaurants are probably too much money for me to spend just to eat a meal that I could just make myself. <laughs> so, all right, cool. Sounds good. I will definitely come back here when it's a little bit more lively. Yeah, everyone's kind of packed up for the night. So I'll come down here during the day. Maybe I'll drive down here on the Saturday after I'm done with the tiny fest. I don't know. We'll see what my energy level is. Yep, so there's a van. There's a van. There's another van with a motion sensor light. That's funny. There's another van. There's a um, schoolie. There's a tank. That's pretty cool. Okay, that one's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see that. That's really cool. That's my kind of thing. That's what I want to I drive. Yeah, everyone's kind of closed up for the night. There's a camper. There's an old motorhome. There is uh, two more van lifers. This is kind of cool. I guess this this is able to be, or I can't even speak. You are able to park here. And look at the view. That is fantastic. That's the kind of view I want. So there's a little Ford Transit, more motorhomes. So I'm going to just park here and take a photo and then be on my way. Move along, move along. Awesome. I 
I'm stopping off at Liberty Station. I think it's closed. I think it closed at eight o'clock for the food in the food hall. Um, but I'm going to Vons, which I haven't been to in ages because we don't have Vons in uh, Texas or any of the other states that I've been to. Um, but anyway, Vons, Vons is basically Safeway pavilions, that kind of thing. Um, but it's really nice over here. Liberty Station, I was here a couple months ago um, when I was in San Diego for a weekend. And uh, you can see that video as well. Went to a concert and walked around this area. So I'm just gonna go to the supermarket. I think I park up here. And yeah, this used to be the old Naval College and they renovated it into a bunch of shops and restaurants and all that kind of thing. So I just gotta figure out where to park. There's also a Trader Joe's here, but I just need to go in the supermarket and maybe get some real food if it's still open. I'm hoping that there's like, I mean, there's like five guys and stuff like that. But yeah, Liberty uh, Station with all the food court and everything is about half a mile behind me. Still in the same complex, that's how big this place is. So I'm gonna go down here to the end of nowhere <laughs> to get into this parking lot and then I'll go get some groceries. So this supermarket is actually in two different buildings. So you buy your groceries over there, check out, come over here, buy your groceries and check out. <laughs> so luckily I picked the side that has the restroom because I really got to pee. And I'm like trying not to use the one in my, my van because I don't want to have to clean it out so often. Okay, the joy of being under my bed and I need to get into my safe and get my passport out because I need to um, go get my TSA thing. So I think if I move some stuff, <laughs> I can get in. I have way too many hobbies. I have more helmets than shoes. I've got my ice skates, bike helmet, uh, longboard helmet, um, full face helmet for full race, going down mountain slopes on my mountain bike. I've got my paddleboard um, gear. I've got my, I don't know what that is, <laughs> uh, life jacket, two life jackets, my roller skates, my moonshade, my rock climbing gear my hammock, my social tarp, my anti-social tarp, my um, laundry basket, and uh, wetsuit, <laughs> rock climbing gear, tools, winter hats, and I'm currently laying where my toilet goes. So let me crawl in here. Oh my God, okay, ow. Nothing says van life than standing in the Planet Fitness parking lot trying to dig out something from the back of your van. So this is what my garage looks like, I've got you know, a bunch of stuff, my safe and everything. I've got my toilet. I've got my um, racing full face helmet. I've got my longboard helmet, tools, roller skates, bicycle helmet, uh, social tarp, anti-social tarp. Um, I've got yoga mats, um, scuba diving gear, rock climbing gear, uh, protective equipment. I've got chains, laundry basket, uh, moonshade, uh, camping chair, uh, hammock chair, snacks. Uh, heater, <laughs> lots of stuff, and I just need to get in the little save over there. Okay, let me try. I'm at Staples, which is where I need to have my TSA pre-check interview. So let me grab my bag and my passport and yeah, see what this is about. My appointment's at 8.30, it's about eight o'clock right now. So hopefully it doesn't look like anybody else is here to do this. Uh, yeah, so hopefully I can just do it here and get whatever I need and not have to, you know, wait until I go back to Houston because um, I fly out on Friday. Well, it rained all night and I had my first leak, so I don't know where it's coming from. It's coming from this little gadget up here in this little hole. I don't think it's from when I put the um, solar panels in, but it's raining, so I can't get up there. So I'll have to take a look tomorrow. Um, but it's fine. The, the uh, leak has stopped. So I don't know. I mean, I don't think there's a pool of water up there. It would have come out of these other holes. It's kind of hard to see. But yeah. Um... Okay, cool, I think we're fine. All right, rain has stopped for a second. I am going to drive to the hospital now. <laughs> what a night. Okay, I am back at the Nissan dealer. I'm going to get spark plugs, 
uh, serpentine belt and tension are replaced and some lights replaced and um, some transmission stuff. So yeah, hopefully I'll fit. I always get worried. This car is in the way. All right, see so ya. Yeah, let's drop her off for the weekend and then I'm flying home and then I'll pick her up Monday morning and then I'm going on my trip. So there you go. And I can't get in. <laughs> this car is literally in the way. Are they gonna move? They need to move. Okay, bye-bye Prudence. I'm gonna go get my free lift to, uh, to the hospital and go pick up some food for Jeff. And there's me with all my stuff. <laughs> and I'll go right here, red table. And where's my lift? Okay. <laughs> They're so nice. I mean, I just spent $2,000 on getting my shit fixed, so I should hope I get a free $20 lift. So we'll see. I don't even know who who's going to pick me up here. We'll see. Good evening from somewhere south of the uh, area where I was in with the hospital. Um, so this is going into Little Italy. This is Balboa area of uh, San Diego and going into the gas lamp. So I have about uh, 1.8 miles from the hospital to my hostel. So I'm staying in the uh, International Traveler's House or something. I haven't stayed in a hostel in probably about 20 years. And I think the last one I stayed in was in like China. <laughs> so anyway, still really cool area, still LGBTQ and all that. Um, but yeah, I've been here a long time ago, probably 15 years ago when one of my friends lived in this area. So yeah, so I'm just gonna walk, uh, walk down and uh, go to my hostel. So a couple of nights, a couple of hours of sleep and then heading to the airport. That's funny, Jimmy Carter's Mexican Cafe and Cantina. I don't really know if that's authentic, but that's kind of funny. <laughs> so anyway, lots of restaurants. Everything in San Diego seems to shut down at like, I don't know, five in the afternoon. <laughs> it's like not a lot open at night. So I think I'll see what's around my hostel. Maybe I can go get something to eat, even though I still have a whole big bag of food I got to eat through before I get on the uh, spirit flight. But yeah, lots of uh, businesses and things. Everything closes at 6.30 or 7. It's only 6.30 now and everything's already shut. So San Diego, why are you like a four-year-old going to bed at four o'clock in the afternoon? <laughs> Actually, no, that'd be like an old person. No, going to bed at like seven. Literally, like nothing is open, even on a Thursday night. But it's a cool area. It's very, very expensive. Probably a couple thousand dollars for any apartment here. Um, but yeah, so probably another mile to go and then I'll be at my hostel. So the ocean is that way, because that's the sunset, and Balboa Park is over there. So if you've never been to San Diego, I highly recommend, oh shit, I was supposed to pick up my, uh, I can get it Monday. I think I have five days to pick it up from the Amazon locker. Um, I have a package that was delivered to Whole Foods, but I'm now like two miles down the road. It's okay, I'll get it Monday morning. Um, but yes, so uh, I need it actually, but it's fine. Um, anyway, so this is, um, really kind of cool area. Balboa Park, if you've never been to San Diego, I highly recommend you check it out. They have other stuff like the zoo and like, you know, some missions and things, but really cool. Again, very, very expensive, very expensive area. San Diego I stayed at that Holiday Inn which is now the Four Point Sheraton and now it's also Skid Row's homeless people all down there yeah it's kind of a rundown neighborhood I just walked through but now I'm going into the gas lamp and this is downtown San Diego or the gas lamp district whatever you want to call it um, they have the harbor they've got uh, the big Hyatt or the Hilton one of those restaurants it's probably impossible to hear me, but anyway, there's the five freeway. I'm walking into the gas lamp area, uh, down to the marina, the port, whatever you want to call it, like the kind of the more touristy area uh, than, where I, than where I've been for the last two and a half months. But this round hotel used to be the Holiday Inn, and I actually stayed there um, about 2006, so whatever 2006 minus 2023 is. Um, so yeah, so like 17 years ago, I was working for a marketing company and we had an event down here where I got yelled at by Jerry Lee Lewis for being too loud 
<laughs> he was on his yacht next to where we were having our party on another yacht. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so I got to cross the freeway here and I stayed at that hotel. So small world and gas is like $6 a gallon. Anyway, I got to pee and I'm almost at my hostel. So those are two very important facts that you need to know for the remainder of this video. Okay, this is the hostel. <laughs> Definitely a different color than on Priceline, but we'll check it out. Might be all right. I'm only literally gonna sleep for like three hours. <laughs> Okay, I'm leaving the hostel. I'm gonna go get something to eat at a British pub, which I've probably been to. I don't know where it is. I have to look at my map and I'm using my phone, so I don't know. It's all right, you know, it's only four beds in the room and there's some guys like on his phone. So I'll sleep pretty well. I'll get up super early and leave if I don't break my neck getting down the stairs from a top bunk, which I haven't slept in in quite a while. This is cool. I may stay here again. It's only like a 45 minute walk to the hospital. So yeah, super fancy apartments and super not fancy freaking hostel. Okay, all right, let me get food. I'm actually fancying maybe a drink. I don't really drink, but I'm not driving and I need to be able to sleep well tonight. So, okay, here we go. So just two blocks from the hostel, I'm now walking to Little Italy, which I've been to before and the pub is right around the corner. So I'll check it out. Looks like a couple places are open. Kind of a cool area, very, very expensive, but yeah, I think it's around here. Lots of little markets, kind of cute. Too bad I can't bring too much on the plane. And I'm just gonna go probably sit at the bar. Okay, there's the Princess Pub. It's a British pub. morning San Diego. It is 4.30 in the morning and I'm heading to the airport and I'm gonna fly home. So that was good. I actually slept like a freaking rock last night. Oh my god, I had two other people in my room and nobody snored. I don't know if I snored. Um, but yeah, I'll probably stay here again. It's a cool area. Um, cheap. It's only 30 bucks or something or 20 bucks. I don't know what I paid. It was on Priceline. Okay, so just waiting for my Uber and then I am going to the airport. And I have an eight hour layover in Las Vegas, so I am going to be working on videos, which you'll be watching now. I'm so tired right now. I'm first on the plane again. I got my mask, got my snacks, and I'm gonna go sit. And I've got a seat closer to the front, which is good. All right, okay, on I go. Like the barrage of customers and passengers. All right, for a, I think I'm right here. Okay, cool. Oh 